Caught my wife cheating, sort of. Married nine years last month, together for 12. Suspected infidelity over the past few months, but there were plausible explanations. Things have been rocky for a while now. A month ago it started to burn when urinating, not a good sign. Did not mention anything to my wife on this yet as I was not sure of the cause but of course had my suspicions. Went to see the doc and was told it was probably a UTI by the symptoms but let's get a test out to be certain. Thought it was all in my head at that point so a bit of relief. Got a call that the test results were in and they wanted to see me to discuss the results. Not good. Turns out I have a STI, mycoplasma genitalium. Apparently this can go dormant in men for some time. Asked the NPA how long and got no certain time. Asked typical times, was told usually found in 60 days. I asked if there were any cases where it went who detected for over a year and was told not that they had heard of but again would not state for certain. Going to be a tough conversation tonight, but I can't live like this. I am also not looking forward to single life but looking like it is going to be that way in the very near future. Story 2 Wife cheated with her ex. Over a year ago, I 33M discovered that my wife of almost three years now 28F was taking her birth control pills while we were trying to conceive. The problem was she was pretending that she was trying to get pregnant and she took one or two pregnancy tests along the way to make me see she wasn't getting pregnant. I was heartbroken when I found out she was lying to me. We had an argument and I decided to stay at a hotel for a few days thinking things through. I loved her still do so I decided to give her another chance. She told me because of her work that is very demanding she started her own company she didn't feel like she was ready to have a child, and along the way she changed her mind. She didn't want to tell me because she didn't want to hurt me. At this point I decided to move in and a few days later I heard her on the phone talking to her ex about having an affair. She told him not to talk about what happened between them and that it was a mistake. The only reason they see each other is for business purposes she started her own business and he knows people that can help her. He was always hitting on her and I made sure on various occasions to let her know that I didn't approve of them working together. I was heartbroken. I couldn't wrap my mind around the fact that while I was trying so hard to forgive her for lying to me she was ducking her ex. I confronted her. It was a lot of crying and she tried to assure me it was a one-time thing. And when I left she panicked and she thought I was leaving her. She also told me they only had OLS time and there was no penetration or anything else. I still don't believe this. This time I actually left her for good and served her with divorce papers a few weeks later, but she found out that she was pregnant. I wanted her to take a patterning test. Even though she was telling me it was mine, I couldn't trust a word that came out of her mouth. She took the test when she was around eight weeks pregnant and confirmed it was mine. My lawyer advised me to stop the divorce process and to wait after she gave birth to divorce her. When she gave birth, I moved in again just to help her take care of the baby. She eventually convinced me to go to couples therapy and I wanted to give her another chance. This time I told her that I needed honesty and that she had to stop any form of contact with her ex. Our son is now seven months old. She didn't put any passcode on her phone and she shared her location with me all the time. I can see she was trying to gain my trust back. The problem is I can't fully trust her. I always have to second guess everything she's saying. Check her phone, her location and I get jealous when she's around other men. Just last week she went out of town for work and when her old college girlfriend threw a party, her ex was there but I only found out through one of her friend's Instagram stories. I confronted her about it. We had a heated argument. She told me she didn't want to tell me he was there because she knew I was going to get jealous. I just can't stop thinking that maybe something happened between them again and she's lying. I feel like she's taking advantage of how much I love her to hurt me again and again. Please give me some advice about how I can fully trust her again. Update. Wife cheated with her ex. Update. I just want to say to thank you to everyone who took the time to give me some advice and to all of you who took the time to chat with me and advise me in private. I just want to say that my wife is financially independent. She doesn't need me to provide for her. I enjoy spending time with our son. I don't see it as me babysitting, but as me being a parent. I had several conversations with my wife. She finally admitted that that night it was more than oh Al. They, in fact, had s time during the entire night and she left the next morning before work. I asked for all the details. It was painful but I needed to know what really happened. She told me she was intrigued by him. He reminded her of something they could have had together. But she ducked up and she was sorry about it. At this point, I knew she wasn't telling me the whole truth. She was picking and choosing what she was telling me to make herself look like the victim. I decided to contact her ex. 
Well, she went out and he confirmed that they only had s time that night, and after my wife went cold on him when I found out about the affair between the two of them. Then a few weeks later, she called him crying and told him she was pregnant and he might be the dad we were separated, and I even served her with a divorce. She eventually made her ex take a paternity test and was planning to have an abortion if it was his. He also confirmed when they met again, she just said hi and left the party. At this point, I was ready to divorce her but we were on a deadline that I put her on to tell me the truth. She eventually came clean to me before the deadlines and no she wasn't in contact with her ex, since I had her phone with me at all the time, and we had a terrible argument where I told her she could leave me if she wanted to and that I had no intention of holding her hostage. She told me how much she loves me, and the affair was a mistake. She was hiding what really happened because she didn't want to hurt me and that she knows she ducked up but she wants to make things work. On Valentine's Day, I surprised her with a polygraph test I told her that we were going out for lunch. While we were in the parking lot, I told her that I'd talk to her ex and that I knew more than she knows and it was her last chance to tell me everything that happened. She took the lie detector test without fighting with me, confirming everything about the affair, and also some doubt that I had about her going to the gym and flirting with other guys and taking off her rings sometimes when she's out with her friends. We had a few arguments these past few days, which resulted in her fainting, or having a fever, loss of appetite, and a lot of crying. And she seems pretty remorseful. I'm crazy about my wife and I know a lot of you are going to call me an idiot for my decision, but the heart wants what it wants and I can't fight it. I know that I am willingly taking the decision to stay with her which means to constantly police her. I'm considering giving her the next few weeks as a trial period. I made it clear what I wanted from her to see if she really wants our marriage to work, and so far she's been showing me that she wants me to forgive her. Redditor's reaction story 2 after. Redditor 1. Op Let's Review. Your wife directly lied to you about the full truth to her cheating on you all while still feeding you layers of trickle truth. Then you're reaching out to the AP to get the full truth which she was never going to tell you. Went out of her way to still contact the AP about her pregnancy as he's most likely the father and still through all of that. You had to put her through a lie detector test to prove that not only were both sides true, but that she carried on going on the hunt out with her friends behind your back. You see how this sounds? This is ludicrous. Why in all of creation would you want to move heaven and earth for a person who kicked you in the balls to darkness? But the heart wants what it wants and I can't fight it. I have to be both blunt and honest here. I'm sick of this damn excuse. The heart is not leading you. It's your self-imposed need to atone for whatever sin you think is the cause to her cheating. You are punishing yourself for crimes you didn't commit. Why? Why settle into being her long-term plan B? You might not see it, but she's still playing you. If you choose this going forward, she'll only get even better at doing it again in the future. And then there won't be anything left of you but regrets for not leaving sooner. Choose wisely. You have only one life. Good luck, bud. Redditor 2. The only point I think you need to really think hard about is this party. If she had any remorse or empathy, she would have never, ever, ever considered going. Redditor follow up. Maybe she didn't know the AP would be there. Her saying hi and immediately leaving the party indicates that she may not have expected him to be there. If she was being deceptive in that instance, she would have found a reason to stay at the party. Redditor 3, I'm sorry Op, but this is not going to keep her from cheating. She'll just do it by using a burner phone and continue her cheating. Redditor follow up, the betrayed have a really hard time understanding that when they choose to stay with their cheater, two things occur. The cheater will see forgiveness as a permission to cheat he'll just pout for a bit and take me back. As usual, the cheater will get better and better at hiding and sneaking around each time they're caught. Story 2. My wife cheated on me with my brother. The title pretty much sums it up. My wife and I have been married for almost 10 years now, and we have an 8-year-old daughter. They admitted to having an affair after my mom found out and made them tell me. I'm currently in the process of finding a divorce lawyer, but even after what happened I'm still struggling with carrying it out, only because of my daughter. I know that divorce can have a very negative impact on a child, and the thought of her suffering in that way breaks my heart. I also want to gain full custody, but I don't know if that will be possible. If I don't, then I can't move very far, because I'd rather still interact with my wife than having to go months without seeing my daughter. On one hand, I feel so betrayed and want to get as far away from them as possible. But on the other hand, I feel like I'm being selfish if I subject my daughter to this. They're both very apologetic and begging for forgiveness, telling me to think of my child, and it's all just messing with my head. I feel like I'm in hell right now. What should I do? Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1 Staying in a bad marriage is just as harmful for a kid as divorce is. 
divorce and find an amicable custody arraignment. You can't move far with full or partial custody emo. Redditor follow up. Yes, op. They are trying to manipulate you by saying think of you child. They should have thought about her before having an affair. They don't sound truly remorseful at all. Even if you do stay, do you think you can ever have a normal relationship with them? Do you think you'll be okay with them being in contact with each other? Answer is no. Also, kids do flourish when parents are divorced as well. Kids are resilient. Is the affair still going on? Are they still in contact? Has your wife said she will never talk to him? Has she shown remorse? If any of these questions have a negative response, she is not trust remorseful. Redditor 2. Ask her whether she thought of her child. Redditor 3. Your brother needs to be out of your life for good. For him to do that to you forfeits his right as flesh and blood. Complete no contact. Story 3. What to do? Quick backstory. Married 16 years. Together 20. Four kids. 24 17 10 7. Found out she had an affair with a co-worker November 2016. Tried to put us back together. Two years wasted there. She moved out November 2018. Found out in December 2018 that she was seeing he AP within a week of moving out via a text message meant for him. Sent to me. Overall, our divorce has been extremely amicable. I was left with the house, my car, my Harley, my business. She only wants child support, nothing more. We remain good friends, but she lies a lot to me, so I am cautious on what she tells me. We are doing a great job of co-parenting our kids. The issue? X decided to pick up extra hours and work today. Asked if I would take our 7 and 10-year-old boys. No problem there. As soon as we get in the car, my 7-year-old starts giving me 20 questions about mom's new friend. The AP and his 12-year-old son apparently stayed over at my ex's place this past Friday. The AP apparently slept in bed with my ex. The AP's 12-year-old son had a sleepover with my 7-year-old and told him my dad and your mom are boyfriend and girlfriend, which was confusing for him. He was also told by the AP's son that his dad might be my son's new dad. And lastly, my son was asking questions on why this guy was sleeping in bed with his mom. Oh, and they spent the day Saturday going shopping, trampoline park, lunch, etc. like a family. So, I get blindsided with this and my ex obviously did not have a conversation with him about this. This is the first time my son has met either of these two people. I feel like I should not have to clean up her mess and it was extremely inappropriate to have the AP sleep in her bed. We are not fully divorced yet and neither is the AP. How do I go about handling this? My son is confused and I don't feel like I should have to cover for his mother's bad decisions. Please help. Update. Karma slapped my ex right in the face. Background. Divorce filed October 2018. She moved out November 2018 and started seeing her AP instantly. Divorce final deck 2019. She was still with her AP till last week. My ex calls me crying and asking if I can take the kids again overnight. I ask what's wrong and if she is alright. She replies that karma slapped me right in the face. She goes on the explain that she felt something was off, so she decided to go through her AP's phone while he was in the shower. Found a huge string of messages on FB with S sing, pics, nasty talk, etc. the same way I found out about her affair. My ex is 39, he is 52 and his new AP is married and only 28. Now, don't get me wrong, I wanted to rejoice to the heavens that it finally happened to her. I told her from day one that the guy is a predator. However, after hearing her out, I understood that she was deeply in love with this guy and the other half of me felt sorry for her. Ironically, she apologized to me more that day than she ever had about her cheating on me, saying things like I am so sorry I put you through this and I never realized how much this hurt you. I took those with a grain of salt cause I have moved on and found someone and we have been happily dating for the last six months. The point of this post is to let everyone know that even going through the roughest divorce scenario, things will work out for you and sometimes, karma will step in and give you a small piece of retribution. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1. She wanted chaos and she got chaos. She found out that green grass was artificial turf. Now she understands but it's way too late. Redditor follow up. Our lives cannot be fully controlled and calm, but the choices we make directly contribute to the level of calm in our lives. Redditor 2. Remind me of my ex-wife. Just like yours, she found out her app cheated on her and separated. Series of apologies coming in. Told her to get on Tinder cause there are tons of duck boys who able help her forget app. Redditor 3. 
be the stability and rock for your kids. They need at least one normalized parent. This will likely begin a dating spiral for her since she's attracted to unhealthy relationships. Also, don't let her in emotionally either. She may try to woo you back. You can tell she's broken emotionally and never been alone in her laugh, so the grasping at straws begins now. Op answer. Agreed. I told her flat out that the ship between us has sailed. She can now wallow in her own misery that she created. Redditor 4. Wow. A relationship born from infidelity also ends in infidelity. I for one am shocked. This happens much more often than people realize. Redditor follow up. Very true. Speaking from experience. Listen to the victims, trust me, it doesn't matter if you have the bigger house or car, more money, younger, more athletic, blah, blah, blah. I'm forever single trying to accept my gut that I'm better off alone, Alice DJ.